ourselves to a cause greater than ourselves. So we are in many ways, in many aspects, the heroes of our country if we stand for it and defend it. By way of closing, I would like to invite Mr. Ramon Pedrosa of Renaissance Philippines, the rebirth of the Philippines. sabuti na yung katagalo, kaya ako tigalite ako, waray ako sanglit mag-aano lang mag-English lang ako kung karayag na yun, mag-Espanyol nila pero English na lang I in my in my old age I have been through many protest movements um I want to tell you that this is the mother of all protests. For the first time we have a situation where a leader of a country, unlike the other leaders in the world, have identified a singular problem of his nation. The proliferation of drugs that have affected the youth of the land. There was a there was a gathering of uh, Ateneo boys in the Jesuit school where I finished my AB. And they were all talking against uh, what they perceived as uh, extrajudicial killings, etc., etc. Everybody had spoken except me. They came to me and said, Oh, Ramon, wala kang sinasabi. Can you tell say something? So I said, if I had known the person who had destroyed the life of my son, I would have killed him myself. When President Duterte identified the drug problem, I understood what he meant because my family suffered from it. And he's identifying himself with the rest of the nation who have problems from this evil Malays, the country. And all the other nations, presidents of other nations has, have started to echo what our president has identified. A war against this drug trade which started when the English destroyed the Chinese nation and took over China. You remember the opium wars. It's back here again in an unprecedented scale and he is the only one who's doing something about it so ang masasabi ko kami galit na galit na dapat yung mga galit sa mga gustong sumira ng ating bayan ay sumamala sa kami salamat po